Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love. We have Mark behind the camera. What are we doing, Todd? We're going to show you how to drain both the brew and steam boiler on the ECM Synchronica and the Profitec Pro 700. Now, if you like these types of videos, uh, subscribe to our channel, please, and click on the notifications. So, first thing you have to do is you have to heat the machine up to heat to drain the steam boiler. So we're going to do that first. So the machine here, we have it nice and hot. What you do is you pull out your reservoir or turn off your water supply to it. After it's hot, turn the machine off, open the hot water knob, then just blow out all the hot water. Have a big container here. And you're doing a Pro 700 or the Synchronica procedure? Yep, same procedure. The only difference is the, like the Pro 6 or the Pro 700 has the steam knobs on it. Mm -hmm. It's compared to, to these. Let's see. So you just let it go until all the water's out. Now, after all the water's out, your brew group is still going to be hot. So you can't drain the brew boiler yet. So what's going to happen is after the steam boiler is done, we're going to have to let the machine sit. Sit long enough so that the brew boiler is cool. You feel the brew group here, and that'll be cool. Then you know you'll be good to go. Careful, that's hot. Well, that's now you boiler, see right? steam boilers drained. We'll close that. And now we wait. So the brew boiler is now cooled down. And we're going to show you how we have to take off this top nut here. So what I like to do is put a little piece of electrical tape. Electrical tape is perfect for this. It's a little flexible, it won't tear, because we don't want to damage this nut because it's so beautiful. Now on this ECM Synchronica, you have a single nut. On the Pro 700, you have a top and a bottom. You'll be taking off this lower one here, the bottom, the big one. Well, you put your wrench on there. I like the adjustable wrench on this one. Makes sure it's fit and snug and just loosen that up. You'll be getting a little bit of water coming out of the top, so there's a little bit of pressure in there. Pull this out, then inside you'll have uh, a spring and an actuator. So pull that out. Now you notice water is draining into the brew, or into the drip tray, and it's coming right from in here. It's, so it's emptying this. Okay. Always make sure the machine's unplugged when you're doing this. So what we're gonna do is, after this empties, we're gonna actually tip the machine forward and on an angle like this. It's because the, the way the pipes come off the top of the boiler, actually we can see it over here. Mm -hmm. So you come off on this side, so you wanna angle the boiler like that so it drains those. So what we'll do, it's gonna take some strength. You may need two people, depending. It's kinda just, actually first thing we wanna do, we want to uh, we'll empty the drip tray a little more. Pull the lever up there just to get that yeah, to yeah, stop draining. Stop. <laughs> then we'll just kind of put it on an angle a little bit like this. We'll get a little more water out of the boiler and the brew group. I Don't, expect you're going to get some water around a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> that's, a little splashing and stuff when you do this. That's why we put the, the rag right, down. So, yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. Now, I'll tip the machine forward. I gotta just put a bucket down here. Normally you do this over your sink, which would mm -hmm. work really good there, but we don't have that on our little set here, so hopefully I line this up good. And hold it. I probably got about, I'm guessing, 20 pounds on myself right now. Okay. So you might want to help her for this. Yes, especially for the next part. Yeah. Now if you don't have to get all the water out of the boiler, you don't have to do this next step, but this will get most of it. Then you can tip it up on a little bit of like an angle like this. That's just lining up so you're yeah. running out that pipe we saw. Right. Now you see a little bit of water dripping off the edge here? That's coming from where the reservoir socket was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tip her back. Now your boilers are drained. I'll put it back together. And now you may be saying to yourself, why would I want to drain the boiler? Well, it could yeah. be a few reasons. First of all, if you need to ship the machine someplace, or you're going to store it for a while, store it in a cold place. Well, you saw how we put everything back in there? Yeah, you got okay. the actuator in, then the spring. Yeah, in the spring. Or if um, you're doing a PID conversion on this, or you have to take the PID out, you have to take the boiler out. That could be another reason. So whatever reason. That's actually one thing really nice about these machines. It's so easy to work on. Okay, just snug that in there. And take your tape off. Hope I can do that easily. Find me in there. Yeah. It's always a fun part with that stuff. There you go. Tape off. You're good now. You shouldn't have a problem with the ceiling because there's a Teflon gasket in there. 
But after you get, next time you use the machine, you fill the boiler up and you can put a back flush disc in your porter filter, raise a lever and pressurize this and just double check that for a leak. All right. Uh, and if you do have the new PIDs in these things, what you can do, actually set this to fill. You go to the program mode so that next time you have to, the boiler will fill before the heating element gets energized. Now to see how to do that, you can watch one of our other videos that shows all the information on the actual PIDs and how to program it and make all your changes. So that's how you drain the boilers on the Pro 700 and on the ECM Synchronica. Thanks for watching. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.